The Boston Cannons have been on a roll the past three weekends and are 4-3 and three headed into Week 9. I'm Jenny Vicillo, and here to talk about the Boston team is MLL analyst and former Cannon J.J. Morrissey. J.J., they won the last three games, and they played undefeated New York very competitively, competitively early on in the season. Give us your thoughts on the team's success thus far. Well, I think that uh, the Cannons have been up and down. I think they played New York really well, obviously, in those back-to-back -back games, not coming away with wins, but... Uh, playing that team, that undefeated team so well uh, is a confidence booster for them for sure. Uh, I like their atmosphere, the, the way the team is coming together, um, and I really like their attack unit with Emila and, uh, and uh, Will Manny back there. So I think they have a lot of pieces and some of the rookies that will come in the next couple of weeks to be really competitive heading into the second half of the year. Now with Jordan Burke injured, Adam Gittleman has stepped up for the Cannons in net. Are you confident in his game for the team? I really am. I think that obviously losing Burke is, is tough for the Cannons. He's such a great backstop and, and uh, field general back there. But Adam Gittleman this past weekend had an, an unbelievable game against the Florida launch, st standing tall against Lyle Thompson and Casey Powell. Uh, so I think moving forward, his energy, his ability in the, uh, in the net, I think the Cannons will be just fine. Now Brody Merrill will be back for the Cannons this weekend, and he's considered one of the best defensemen to play the game. What could his addition mean for the Cannons? I think that uh, Brody Merrill is one of the best long stick minis that have ever played lacrosse. He, he's an unbelievably skilled player. Uh, Ratliff has had a great season. I don't know how they're going to fold Brody back in and keep Ratliff involved because he's, he's been doing so well. Um, but obviously it, it can only help to have a guy with Brody Meller, uh, Merrill's talents coming back. So it should be a boost for the Cannons for sure. Like I mentioned, the Cannons are 4-3 and three headed into Week 9. What do you think the Cannons need to do to keep the momentum going and make the playoffs? Well, I think first thing that they have to do is make sure that they play a good team offense. When they get together as a team on the offensive end and they're sharing the ball and they're staying within their system, they're extremely dangerous. They have a tendency to play a little bit too independently sometimes, and that can slow their offense down. On the defensive side of the ball, it's all about communication. When they're communicating with each other, you can hear it from the press box when they're talking with each other. When they do that, they're effective at shutting the other team down. So keeping that communication line open on both the offensive and defensive end is going to be extremely important. Thanks, JJ. That's MLL analyst JJ Morrissey. The Boston Cannons head to Rochester on Sunday to face the Rattlers at 1 p.m. Tune into ESPN3 to see the action.